The path to unlocking the ancient secrets has been revealed as the Reaper's quest continues. Time has come. What can you whisper to us? What will you share? Understood. Now, reveal to me what you can see beyond the veil. Show me who holds the key to the secrets of the ancients. As ever, be my eyes and fly swift upon the winds. His old captain. So, the jewel within her mask reveals a map, but where does it lead? It's a hidden star chart. The stories of the ancients wrought bright across the night sky. It tells of their secrets and legends. Yes, the great adventurer never did find her cure. You must tell me now, where does it lie? Okay then, there is a fair bit to get through here. This first cinematic is really interesting. It's looking like, so far, the cinematics are setting up a very ancient-themed storyline for 2023. Obviously, we can now 100% say the Servant is interested in the Ancients and unlocking the ancient secrets, as that's why he's captured the Orb. He says in the first cinematic, if you haven't catched that already, when the Orb first came into fruition, I'll link that in the top right now, my video on that. He said that this Orb has ancient wisdom, which is something we obviously didn't really know about beforehand. Okay. We see the servant ask the orb who holds the key to unlocking the ancient secrets. So that we get a really awesome sud cinematic over at North Star Seapost. Now, before we get into all of the lore analysis and trailer analysis, or it's not a trailer cinematic analysis, you know what I mean. If you want to get your hands on the Snowburned Ship Lantern, you can now get it over at North Star Seapost and not just in the Reaper's Lair anymore. As per this event, every cinematic, a Reaper's Parrot is going to be moving around the map. You need to find this Reaper's Parrot and interact with it, and you'll be given the new Snowburned Ship Lantern, which is basically a reskin of the Snowbound Ship Lantern from Season 5, the orb from the previous orb event. But as I say, it is a reskin to be more red. The parrot for Suds, the North Star Seapost, is on top of it, it's on the roof. So if you just do a little bit of climbing, go up to it, you won't be able to get on the roof. But if you just climb on top of one of the little barrel things, you'll be face to face with the parrot. Hold X or your interact prompt F, and then you'll be given it in your inventory. Okay then, so, 
We learn that Suds is the key, obviously, with Briggsy's mask, and that Briggsy's mask, the jewel reveals a star chart inside the mask. What's interesting is how did Suds get this mask? Currently, Madame Olivia has it, and the next adventure, The Secret Wilds for Sea of Thieves, has a picture of Briggsy's mask, and it looks like a very briggsy related adventure story arc, so it seems like that arc is going to be bigger than we really think. I love how they're linking Shores of Gold storylines in with newer storylines as well. We're revisiting all these old characters. I know Suds was in The Legend of the Veil, vale, but linking Briggsy, Suds, everything like that, really old storylines in with what's coming in the future is really awesome. What I do find interesting is that Briggsy was searching for a cure to the Skeleton Curse, not the Ancients or something. Unless the Ancients had the power to cure the Skeleton Curse, now that would make things interesting because we know the Dark Brethren are part of the most recent adventure. They're coming back, so we're going to have all these different parties linking up. Perhaps a race to discover the Ancients? Who knows? The Servant confirms that the mask is the key, but we do see on the paper that Suds hands a pirate the mask is the map. So, as that says, the mask is indeed a map. As the servant says, it's a star chart. At the end of the cinematic, the servant asks where this star chart leads, which presumably will be the next cinematic. That does just about bring us to the end of this cinematic, though. It was really awesome. I'm so excited for what they're doing with the Orb event. Even so far, these two cinematics alone have been really cool and are shaping up the future of Sea of Thieves. That does just about bring us to the end of the video, though, and the end of the first vision of definitely many over this next week, revealing the future of Sea of Thieves. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. What do you make of this first vision, and what did you make of the opening vision to kick off the whole warp thing? What do you think they're really setting up here? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy them, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. Because with this orb event, there is so much to keep up with. It's been worked out that it's around an hour and a half between every either vision or Twitch drop. So every streamer, we're getting raided an hour and a half apart. Or there'll be a vision or something. Things are happening every hour and a half. So that's the timing. If you need to keep up with Twitch drops and all that stuff, Twitch drops per stream will last around 30 minutes, and you have to watch for 15, so you've got plenty of time to do so. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.